Assalamu alaikum. Today we're gonna install Blue Link or sorry, activate. Activate Blue Link in Creta SX 1.5 manual. Location is Srinagar, Kashmir. So, first and foremost, the vehicle has to be started. And I'll start the vehicle. Now, I'll have to wait for 30 seconds. So, 30 seconds we wait. Okay, now we have waited for 30 seconds. Now, there are two things how we can activate it. Either we go to the main menu, then we go to this blue link icon and we press it over here. Or, or this mirror, there is this SOS button over here. We can press this also. So, we'll press this SOS button on this mirror. Uh, and here I press this button. Now you see this message popping up. It's like blue link activation required. Would you like to activate service? And I will say yes. So once I do it, it takes some time. Uh, location is Srinagar, Kashmir. Actually earlier when I used to do this, there was a problem, but then I'll tell you how I did out with that. Now here these things come like, the terms and conditions so you keep on saying agree and you press next then this privacy policy so you say agree but there's no other option you can't say i don't agree so you have to say agree and then you press next and then it says activating blue link service please wait system is not operational during this time so you wait and in vehicle service activated expiration date is 27 Feb 2024 so it's roughly 3 years from the date of purchase uh, 27 Feb 2021 was the day when I brought it so to complete the profile and enable all services please use Blue Link app on your smartphone that's part 2 I will tell you that later on but first this is the activation on your vehicle how you do it now I press OK and it's activated Blue Link activated over here now you can see this icon oh sorry sorry is the wrong thing you can see this icon this b small b this coming over here i don't know if it's clear or not this b icon this means blue link is activated in this vehicle now to use all the features i'll have to activate blue link on my mobile also so i'll explain that in a different video so this is how you do it right now there's one more thing most of the people in Kashmir, whenever they used to, they will try to press this blue link icon, there will be a message that will be coming up and that will be like, uh, there is a network problem in your area, network not available, network issue. So for that, what you have to do, you have to go to, see, we'll go to, sorry, we'll go to, this is the main screen of the infotainment system, we'll go to settings for that. And in settings, we'll go to blue link settings in that. And in blue link settings, this modem information, you'll press modem information. And then you'll press this reset. You'll press reset. Uh, it will say it will erase everything. And uh, do you want to continue? You'll pre press yes. And then wait for some time. And while you're doing all this, you have to keep the engine of your vehicle on. Now, once it has uh, done this reset, you have to do reset again. So this reset thing has to be done twice in Srinagar Kashmir right so when you do that twice uh, it's done everything you go back to your home then you have to switch off your vehicle ignition has to go off and then you have to start the vehicle again and then you have to go with this process to activate and that's it how to activate blue link in Srinagar Kashmir Asalaamu Alaikum uh, so today we're gonna learn how to download and install blue link on your mobile and thereafter register your mobile and finally pair your mobile with the infotainment system and uh, get started with your blue link so first you go to play store this is an android based mobile then you type hyundai blue link uh, this yes exactly you can see this hyundai blue link now you install it on your mobile so you all know in srinagar kashmir the speed is very slow so we'll have to wait for some time okay now uh, we'll open it. We'll press open. And now you see these options coming up like uh, Blue Link wants to access to 
uh, have a device's location so you press allow all the time to have a better experience then to access photos media and file on your device you press allow and then it's downloaded and installed now this window comes up here you can see there are many options like login or you have this option of a creating a new account so we will go for creating a new account one, one, one second okay so once we press this create new account then these things come up like terms and privacy policy so you click on yes yes and accept and then you press ok now there are certain details that you'll have to fill up I will fill the, those details so after filling these details you'll press sign in it says your account has been created proceed to verify your mobile number here you will press ok now you'll see this it says uh, give your mobile number now whichever mobile you want to pair this infotainment system you'll put that number over here and my number will be like now once you have given or entered your mobile number this verify button will will be highlighted now you press verify once you've done this an OTP will come on your number now you can see an OTP has come and so now you place that OTP over here and then you confirm and proceed so now this number you can see success your mobile number has been verified so you press ok now it will ask you for a pin number this pin number is necessary whenever you have to operate this app on your mobile number so you press or you keep any pin you want to have then you press confirm and proceed here now this window will open you'll see my name my mobile uh, sorry my email address and then you'll have two options one is add my car and the second is request to share car now before we proceed any further I'll have to start my vehicle because now is the time when this mobile will be paired with the car and for that the car needs to be started that that means this ignition has to be on so once we're done with that now uh, during this process it will ask for win number win number is the number that's there on your registration papers as well as on the back side of the mirror of your car that's you can see this vehicle or there there you can see your win number you can always you can always check your win number from this infotainment system and uh, this win number you can also find it over here on this infotainment system go to settings then go to blue link settings over here and then you see this modem information press modem information here you can see win number this is the win number of my vehicle okay now you have to go to this add my car once you press add my car there will be some terms and conditions so you read them and then you press agree button again privacy policy you press now here you can see this uh, vehicle identification number he's asking for this this is win number and i just told you how to get this number so you enter your win number over there so once you entered your win number you send this send verification code to vehicle you press over here now it will take some time before a message pops up on your vehicle and then the pairing happens so we'll see so enrollment successful and it's done now I can use all options 
that are there and I can use this blue link it should work now now how do we use blue link you can use a mobile also you can press this button over here shortcut for blue link or you can just say hello blue link see I just said hello blue link and now it's trying to understand what I'm saying so I'll, I'll say no response from server since I didn't give him any call uh, now I'll say hello blue link open sunroof opening the sunroof so that was it I hope I was able to show you how to activate blue link in your vehicle and then download this app on your mobile and register it pair the two and finally use it khuda office